Citations. Welcome to Bob's Balloons. As I'm looking at the game page right now, it's a PS1 style horror game where you play as a character who's trapped in an old abandoned balloon factory and his boss, which I'm not sure why he has a boss at this place, has transformed himself into a balloon and his co-workers and you have to escape this old abandoned factory before you turn into a balloon. So you have to collect some key cards. So we'll go ahead and start this. So I think this is made on Game Maker? It was made for the Secret Santa Jam. That's what it says right on top. Alright. I thought this was abandoned. Attention all employees. We're having a party upstairs. Don't be late. Or maybe it's about to be abandoned. Oh. oh. <laughs> I this is another one of Red's pranks. I'll play along. Red. Nothing here, haha. <laughs> you got me. Alright, so. Oh, it's auto run. I like go to shift. This man needs to improve with his VO2 max. Okay, we got some. Dude, did you just. do at me? Anyway, we got some soda pop here. That's called balloon soda. I wonder what that taste is like. Helium, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we have to go up. Continue. Sure. So you just walk up to it. You don't interact with the... That's more convenient, I guess. So these are the balloons from the covers. <laughs> balloon? You turned yourself into a balloon? Let me introduce you to my friend. This is Ken. She, uh, doesn't talk too much now. Yeah, you should probably keep her eyes on her. This is Red. <laughs> Who's who? Yeah, I ain't got too much else to say about him. I assume Red is this person. Wanna join our party? No, I hate parties. I especially hate balloons. Too bad, you're already here. Please enjoy the festivities. <laughs> I what sure you will. Me? You don't have time for stupid questions. The party's about to start. Time for our first event of the night. <laughs> All right, let me have it. Time for the challenge, I guess. Uh, okay. I'm definitely not prepared. What's your emergency? Please, you have to help me. They've all gone crazy. Sir, please remain calm. Can you tell me your location? I I'm at the old balloon factory. Please, send someone here quick. Sir, can you please repeat? Hello? Hello? Damn it! I like how I'm just calmly walking as I'm, like, super frustrated. <laughs> hello? Hello? Gosh darn it! Alright. Game save. I don't do too well in the dark, but if you're in the light, I can find you no matter where ya. Is that so? Ah, so this is a little bit of a platformer. So we gotta watch out and not get into the light. Okay, so far so good. Alright, so while this is going on, I'd like to address everyone just telling me to play stay out of the house. Like, doesn't it get old at this point? <laughs> I'm gonna get ya! You're gonna get me? I mean, good luck with that. You don't seem to be very speedy. Get over here! I'm gonna turn you to a balloon! You don't freak me. <laughs> I'm gonna get ya! <laughs> I'm He's gonna trying so get hard you. to intimidate me. I, 
I've been in the light so many times. Get over here! I'm gonna turn you to a balloon! Yeah, I mean, goodbye. I'm gonna get ya! <laughs> I'm gonna get ya! Eh, I'm bored now. Huh? What? <laughs> That's funny, he just gave up on me. <laughs> I'm loving this game so far. It has so much comedic value to it. Alright, so we have one more key card to get. And he apparently gave up on me. I think this is... Unprecedented. With the horror game. Like, aside from a glitch... Like, a character that actually made the decision to not go after me anymore, that's hilarious. <laughs> this lightened up my bear. I typically don't really care much for horror games these days. Especially when people tell me to play Stay Out of the House. Like, here's the thing. It's the same gameplay over and over, and Puppet Combo keeps running off this meme like... For release, never. Like, it's a dead meme at this point. Yeah, everyone thinks it's hilarious. Like, I, I don't really know why. Same gameplay over and over. He just adds like a little bit of addition to it. That's it. Why do you want to see I the same like game? There's a lot of normal balloons in there. Don't be fooled. Red can hop into whatever balloon he feels like. Is that so? Like, how should I be intimidated? Oh, there's Red. Trying to go after me right now. <laughs> Alright, so we got a couple of key cards here. <laughs> this one might be a little bit more tricky. I don't know. Like that balloon. So he he's a teleporter, in a way. Via balloons. So the balloons are like his security cameras, in a way. There's a balloon right there. Let's walk on by. But how is a balloon going to do anything to me? <laughs> I gotta say, the audio is actually really well done. It sounds like they're very close to me. So it puts me a bit on edge. Oh, that's it? That was easier than I thought. That went quicker than the last one. Alright. Oh, sayonara. Go ahead and take off from here. <laughs> I know I should be posting a lot more with my content, but... I posted most of my content on members recently. I feel so free. Earlier when I said you should keep your eyes on Cad? Yes. You really don't want to know what'll happen if you don't. Oh. Well, that's a little freaky. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> look at me. But you look at me. <laughs> She's telling me to look at her, but I can't even look at her directly. This one, honestly, might be the freakiest one. It's not like the face is spooky or anything, it's just... The audio cue is like, closer than the last two that we dealt with. The first one was just pure comedy. The second one, a little bit on edge. Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! <laughs> where is she? <laughs> that actually freaks me out, I don't know where she was. See, this is horror that we need. We don't need this repetitive, cheap jump scare BS. Where are you? There you are. Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! I'm doing that! You're apparently not very good with eye contact. Okay, I'm running out of here. Of 
Wow, he sounds excited. Alright. So, off we go. To the Wonderland. What? I don't know what just happened. I guess we reached the end of the game? We dealt with the boss, then the co-workers. Okay, so we got a bad ending. It didn't look like we could do anything else from there. We did exactly what they asked. Oh, I didn't mean to click out of the credits. Can I relook at the credits? No, I cannot. That's unfortunate. I wanted to give everyone credit that work on this. Or maybe I can put up the Ichio page right now and you can see that. Maybe that's all the credits that are added to this. But, uh, yeah. That was Bob's Balloons? This is my type of horror. It's comedic. It's actually good at making you on edge. Which not a lot of horror games do these days. Not even the Puppet Combo games, personally. I think Puppet Combo kind of repeats the same scares over and over with his models. Like, it's super loud, but I mean... That kind of lost its scare factor after a while, like, it's desensitizing. I know I'm going to get a lot of backlash from what I've said, but this is all my personal opinion. If you want to say that I'm factually wrong, you can go ahead and do that. I don't give a crap. I played through Puppet Combo's game so many times that the scares start to mean nothing to me. He adds no new concept to it. He only adds, like, new features to the games, and, uh, that's pretty much it. I still enjoy his games, though. Definitely gonna be playing the full game of Christmas Massacre on members only, $5. And, uh, yeah. I really enjoyed this game. It's very creative. Good comedic value to it. And I'm gonna rank this as an S tier. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Hope to see more games like this. But, um, it's almost the end of 2021, so... You probably won't see much of me posting to the public anymore. Everything's been going to members recently. I just did a live stream last night. I did a t-shirt giveaway video, and I'm about to post the next part of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'm having a lot of fun doing members only content. All you have to do is pay a dollar a month, and you get all the content that you want. But I'm sure people don't care that much about it. I mean, I've already lost 30 subscribers just because I'm not playing the puppet combo games, but you know, who, who gives a crap? But yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.